Come to the library with me, Small Town Edition. Today we are in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, checking out the public library. Beautiful landscape on the outside, and the inside is gorgeous as well. You're going to want to see it. But first, let's check out the book drop. This book drop was pint-sized. It was only two feet off the ground, just like this little table, so catering to their younger patrons, which I thought was really sweet. Isn't it just beautiful inside of here? Lots of natural light, books and displays, and it's just done with so much care. Something I really like about independent and small town libraries is the customization you're going to find that you just don't find in massive libraries in big cities that are really often copy paste. So like, for instance, check out this corner, little gadgets and gizmos. This is Miss Martha's Storytime Corner. The wallpaper, the natural light, the little birdie hopping outside the window, all of those sweet things that remind you that this was designed for you, the visitor. Cozy chairs and plants, and they still had encyclopedias here, which I thought was interesting. More shots of the plants and the natural light. It's just so personal to me. You can imagine locals bringing those in. They're all in different pots. And something interesting I saw here were that the chapter books were all labeled with the accelerated reading level. For me, parents are always coming into the library I work at asking what reading level this is and trying to pick books based on that. So having that labeled on almost every chapter book I thought might be useful. It's a nice thing that they had here. Also, took a shot of their graphic novels sticker, which was the BAM sticker, which is not the one we have at my library. But thought that was cute. There was a wrapped present here, which I thought might be some sort of passive program, but I wasn't sure. But look how gorgeous this library is. Um, the This is the nonfiction, which is labeled with images, which helps kids, you know, when you're still learning your Dewey Decimals. I don't even have that memorized myself, so that can be helpful and some libraries opt to do that. And just another look around. This area to the left here is their teen section with the green chair. So young adult fiction and graphic novels were there. This is Mr. Gord. He's a bearded dragon. He freaked me out when I first walked in, but he is actually the library mascot. So there he is on the library card and he is well loved. And all over the library, there he is. You're a lizard Harry and the beardies, the bearded dragons. A little bit more of the adult fiction section, pretty straightforward. Some seating areas, some working areas, and lots of books. This was their catalog. It was just a laptop open to the library's webpage. Sat out with some flower pens and paper, all you need. And I like that they still had a dictionary in the children's area. It was open to the word of the week, pretzel. This was really sweet. They had a little corner where people had taped recipe cards. Something you might only see in a community small town library, so it was really nice to see this. You'll notice that the recipes really represent the area, so lots of seafood, shrimp, crabs were in the DMV. So lots of those recipes, don't they just sound delicious? Pause if you want one, because they were looking really good and yummy. handwritten recipe cards, a unique feature. Here we had a really cool display. This is books librarians hate. <laughs> Hillbilly Elegy, Where the Sidewalk Ends, Educated, and even Stephen King made this list. I have a really funny about Hillbilly Elegy and a patron asking me about that book as a black librarian. DVDs were only $1. And here's a shot of the computer section and just some comfy seating for your adult readers. And these were the books librarians loved. Thanks so much for joining me on a trip to the local library.